Welcome to Toy Chest Quest. Today we're going on a little bit of a hunt. If you're new to the channel, I collect a lot of NECA stuff, mostly. You'll see behind me Turtles, I do Star Wars Black Series, big Marvel Legends guy, occasional pop vinyl here and there, but I like to show off random stuff in the toy aisle that jumps out at me. So let me know below what kind of stuff you collect because I love to hear that kind of stuff. Starts a good dialogue between us so I can get to know you, you can get to know me, we can have a nice conversation. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's see what's out on the hunt. Today I'm definitely looking for the Baxter Stockman and Splitter 2-pack still. I didn't find it yet. Uh, it's driving me crazy. I'm also trying to complete my Ghostbusters Plasma Series collection. I'd only gotten Ray very early on from Amazon Warehouse uh, for a good deal. So that's the only one I had. And then the last hunt that I did, I got Dana Barrett. Uh, and seen a, at least on the inventory checkers on Walmart's uh, app. A few stores say they have some, so I'm going to go out and see which ones they have. Also, I've seen a lot of the new Marvel Legends are hitting stores since I took a little bit of a break and I haven't seen any of the end of the Spider-Verse line yet, so hopefully we'll find some of that. Let's get out, see what we can find today. All right, now we start the hunt over here at Target. Gonna go ahead and check out NECA, hopefully get some turtles, so let's see what they got today. Doesn't look like they stocked anything, but we'll see. Man, this place still looks bad, like, this, this looks bad. So it uh, looks like it has been forgotten for a few weeks now. Maybe I'll get it all cleaned up now that Christmas season's over, hopefully. Real bummer to look at. You know, they've got is like random stuff here. Make it mildly presentable. I don't think I've ever seen it so bad. Very embarrassing. Still just a thousand Lukes. This really cute love can't <sighs> oh. Dinosaurs. Let's make it. Oh, that's really sweet. Oh my gosh. That is fun. The old Hollywood Hogan. And then they also got this kind of fiend. Those are nice deluxe figures, I like those. Because I don't collect wrestling, but I definitely appreciate a good figure. Okay, let's see what they got on this other side. Maybe check out, see if they got some of these fun little aisles. Sometimes they've got that stuff all over the place here. That's kind of cool, it must be new. Haven't seen that yet. Neat. Huh. I mean, that's why someone was hiding them over here. Oh, these are kind of cool, too. <laughs> yeah, these all must be the new Legos. These are really fun. Whoa, what are these? Those are pretty cool. Crane monster truck. <laughs> Neat. New docks. Nope, no dock yet. That's the head. I was hoping they'd have the Nightwing and Black or uh, Red Mask two pack, but I don't think so. Not yet. I know it did say on their inventory they had three of them, so I'm gonna peep around a little bit. That's something I'd definitely be taking home if I have today. I haven't seen those. Super Seven. Cute. Way too much. Oh my god, those are $18. Oof. Alright, so regular toys. Guy's got a big box of new Marvel Legends. He's scanning. So like Peter B. Parker come out of the box. So I'm gonna go act like I'm dropping for other things and go back. Pick some of those up hopefully. Yeah, here we go. Oh man, I'm so excited to see these finally. Ooh, what about that? What the crap out of that one? Pretty bad. There's the one I really want. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Very funny. Something's missing. They're just putting these things out. So it must have really been quick. Grab that frog man, I assume. Man, these are awesome. These are good. Definitely taking Peter today. We're gonna think about my house. Yeah, I'm gonna take my house too. I thought about it. I can't live without it. 
All right, so the pain's a little weird on this one eye on Miles. I think I'm gonna wait on Miles. I'm gonna get the Gwyn spider ham instead. Go home, cancel all my pre-orders for these. Well, at least the two that I got. Very excited to take these home and shoot them. It's definitely one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, definitely the best Spider-Man movie, for sure. If you haven't seen it, holy crap, quit this vlog. Go watch Into the Spider-Verse. All right, I'm not seeing the two-pack here, sadly. This Power Ranger stuff, though. It's new, pretty cool. I actually really like that a lot. We got, oh, got these guys. Zed putty, I don't have that yet. That is pretty cool. Yeah, I know it's just the other putty with a thing on it, but I like it. I need that white painter too. Oh, that's really tempting too today. Oh man. Good to see these out and about still too. Let's see if we got any Marvel stuff here. Besides the Spideys. Oh, that's new. Looks like some sort of game for kids. It's fun. Who knows? All right, poor girl's still haunting this place. I'm excited to get mine out. I think this is going to do it for me today, though, guys. Pretty excited. This neck is actually has me depressed. That is never looked that bad. It is such a bummer. Cool. I just want to stay here today and take my day to clean it and rearrange it and stock it for him for free. I wish I could, because, boy, that's sad. I don't know. Plus holiday blues, I guess, just getting the uh, best of the old NECA, NECA section, sadly. So, all right, let's go pay for these and get out of here. Got sad of Bullseye, though. Thanks, Bullseye. Appreciate it, bud. Anybody get your wallet there? Yeah, I think you almost forgot it. I can hear the target birds, but I cannot see them. But very much alive and well. See you later, guys. All right, I'm at Walmart. I'm gonna see if I can find some more of these Ghostbusters this week, hopefully. And, uh, oops, they bro. Then I'm going to check their NECA section, but I already got that two pack I need, so just more looking for y'all. All right, let's see what they have here today. Classic assortment of aliens, it looks like. I love this giant four more. Look at on here. That's awesome. Yeah, these big pops are sweet. I wish I had room for them. But you've seen my room, you know. I do not. Oh, wow, that's trippy. I'm going to read this Batman next. I think that is very cool looking. And this one's so cute with the little Joker head. Huh. Nice. All right. A lot of the usual suspects here. Ooh. My own mortality is inside of here, apparently. All right, let's get the regular toys. You just take a moment to appreciate how nice it is that the holidays are over. Look at this. Just me and her. She's like, I don't know, 100 feet away from me. It's beautiful. I feel a way less irresponsible looking for toys today. Thanks, world. All right, please forgive this awful music that is blasting here, but uh, this ran up for 11, but I'm still gonna wait until maybe I can get it for five, because like I've said in the past, I'm not a huge X-Men fan movie, not a huge fan of the X-Men movies, and because it's a great figure though, and a uh, very fun figure. This one ran up for 10, so I'm gonna take him home today. So, criminally, do not have a Han Solo figure uh, in Black Series, which is crazy. I had the... That's me. Okay. Uh, but I'd gotten the one in Carbonite, like, from Amazon, and then something happened and it got cancelled. So I have none. So this will be my first Han Solo. So that's pretty exciting. And, uh, look at these minion Legos. These are a blast. Gosh, very fun. Alright, guys. I'm gonna have to look around a little bit more in here, but I think this is pretty much gonna do it, so let's head back. Well, now I got the bug again, and I wanna see if I can find some more of these Spider-Man figures today. I wanna finish Stilt Man, and I'm at Walmart. Uh, you can see it. Walmart, it's the Redneck Walmart I've referred to in the past. If you're new to the channel, this is kind of the middle of nowhere, so sometimes you just walk in and find some really great stuff, and uh, other times, it's completely empty. So, let's get inside and see if they left me anything. 
I'm also super bummed that Miles figure was like all scratched up on the eye because those were the two that I really wanted. Well, okay, let's be honest. I wanted Frogman number one. That figure is hilarious. Definitely in my wheelhouse of stupid and funny and amazing. Uh, then I wanted Peter B. Parker, which I got, which is awesome. Uh, kind of can relate to that character, uh, especially in these schlubby times of the quarantine. And uh, then, of course, one of Miles, because Miles is one of my favorite characters of all Marvel. So, uh, dang, I hope they have him. So, let's check. All right. Hey, Power Rangers, darn. Really? Man, nothing here either. Just these old guys. Well, it was worth coming by, I guess. God, I just feel like I'm about to bleed that, man. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm not getting properly. Oh, clear. Let's just see if I can get over here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh my gosh, I like that a lot. Let's see what this little guy's going for now. I guess I'm fine. That's what I've been seeing for that one. Let's see, hopefully, that Benatar is not going to pull this video. Old Joker tricks there. Let's hope I'm gonna put some Ghostbusters, but looks like this is all dolls and what have you. All dolls and their friends. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's kind of cool for his leg, is it? Yeah. Well, guys, let's see if there's some more. I haven't even seen any of the Beast Wars Transformers, which. I actually might get one or two up, because I love that as a kid. I haven't seen any of that stuff making its way out here yet, which is a bummer. Maybe find some clearance around here. So I'll keep looking. We'll see. All right, like I said, sometimes you find absolutely nothing. But there's a pretty good Walgreens down the road from here. And I'm having a feeling maybe they put out those Spider-Verse figures today. So definitely worth the time. I've got a few hours before work, so check it out. All right, so last time I was here, I don't even think I posted this hunt, but I'd come here to grab a couple Venom Pool figures to finish out that wave. Should probably do a Venom Pool wave. If you guys are interested in that, let me know. It's been too long. Maybe it's maybe it's just been too long. But uh, honestly, that's one of the best Marvel Legends figures of last year was that Build-A-Figure. I kind of finished it right before the end of the year there. I uh, just kind of got a bug and I only needed two and I knew they were here. So I came and cleared them out. So hopefully me clearing those out will uh, have them have to restock with these new Spider-Verse figures today. I'm assuming I'll see some of these Ant-Man figures that <laughs> are hilariously still at many of these Walgreens. I don't know, I don't get it. They're not that bad. They're, the Paul Rudd kills me. I'll show you the face in a minute. It's the best, maybe the funniest action figure face ever. You can only expect so much from someone as hilarious as Paul Rudd, I guess. So, all right, let's get in there, see what Paul's doing. All right, let's see what we're dealing with today. Oh, it looks like they may have got some new stuff. We got many more. Now I can. Now I can. <laughs> Told you we'd find some of these. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about, guys. Take it in. That's amazing. Very funny. All right, see the old Power Rangers. That one's cool. That's the exclusive here. Oh, that's like an old one. Jeez, I don't think I've ever even seen these. It's like more White Rangers back there. One on Star Wars. Oops. 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 Sorry, side swipe. There we go. And one trooper. Hey, this guy's on sale. I don't know, three bucks. Come on with me. Kind of a weirdo. Yeah, three bucks, I think I'm gonna get that. Oh my gosh, I just got the hand sanitizer on the way out and it feels like Slimer went through me. 
it was one of those ones that like, you know, you do like, it's like a pump and just, oh, what a mess. Okay, hang on. I only spent $5. I got cookies, which you don't give a crap about. They were like a dollar. And I got this guy for three bucks. I haven't read this storyline yet, but I think that is a cool looking Captain America, Dr. Strange mashup. And my favorite thing, Close in the Dark. So pretty interesting. All right, I did forget salad stuff. And uh, being a vegetarian, <laughs> that's a huge part of my diet. So I need to get to Walmart again and go get that. So probably gonna hit up one more Walmart on the way home. All right, like I said, I gotta go into one more Walmart. So I figured, eh, might as well check to see if they got those new Spider-Man figures. So never know, being hopeful. <laughs> Let's get inside. All right, nothing in regular toys. Let's see what they got here. Clearance, that's pretty cool. And Star Wars up here. Five bucks off. That's pretty cool. Very neat. Oh, cool. It's just down to 11 here. Maybe that'll be lower. Oh, what do they got? Okay. Ray. I know these are all going to be. Beckman I don't have, so I'm gonna take back one. Oh my gosh, at least we got one. Oh, look at that guy, making a mess. That's pretty exciting, at least we got one. Oh, God, those are nice. Let's see what those are, out of time. So there's people in there, see what else I can find here. That's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool too. I like this guy a lot. That's still a lot of money for that though. Since I don't really do those, I better not. I think that's really funny too. But again, I don't have the room for this, sadly. I'd be really excited about that. <laughs> Both of those cool things I definitely shouldn't get. Oh, this one is the one that has the little egg cartridge in people were using for the Black Series. Looks like these are all this orange guy. Huh, neat. That was about one more. That's pretty exciting. Star Wars, what's that? Ah, we got Leia. My buddy's actually, after I got that haul on, I told my buddy he was also looking for it, so. I'll be looking for another one of those to send him. So, yeah, that was a nice little surprise. Nothing else here, really, guys, unless you're looking for dog toys. So, go ahead and head out here. All right, sorry I've got this scarecrow hair going on today. Very Peter B. Parker of a day, so. Good thing I got that. But I'm gonna end this after this one. Uh, very glad I found some clearance. This is my local Walmart too. Uh, I thought I'd already missed all of these. I actually had my fiance look yesterday. She said there were no Ghostbusters figures, but they were like in the dog section. So that's not on her. And uh, of all of them, obviously you want Vecman, clearly. Actually, if I were to give you two of these that I wanted, it probably would have been Vecman and probably Dana. Or maybe Zedmore. Big Winston guy. Uh, I'm really hoping I can finish these. I would love to be able to build one of these dogs. So now I've got the body and I think two arms. So I've just kind of got this headless, uh, no foot beast. Wait, you know, I hope this isn't the last line of these, even though I definitely waited until they went on sale. I hope there is a second wave. I would love to see what a second wave would include and uh, what the build a figure would be. Cause these are fun. I think uh, probably ties in with that new movie with Finn Wolfhard and funny man Paul Rudd, I called back to earlier. I assume that's what the next volume or next uh, volume, like their weird British TV shows, the next wave of figures would probably be. I assume you maybe get, maybe get some, uh, maybe get some sort of variants on those, some extra things, but I assume the next, I assume the next time we see Ghostbusters figures will be to promote that next movie, which I'm actually excited about. Uh, as much as the last one was so controversial, I thought the merch and buying Ecto Cooler was very fun. The movie was, you know, you saw it. It's whatever. 
didn't need to exist, but it's fine. Whatever. If you like it and you love that movie, don't let me or anyone else deter you. Do your own thing. I'm all for, uh, I'm all about supporting fandoms. I don't like to crap on things very much on this channel. That's why I just kind of, will just kind of throw my hands up in the air and just be like, yeah, you know, whatever. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. And I know there's things I like that people largely crap on and it never feels good. And, uh, you know, it's unnecessary. Unless that thing is creating or causing some sort of malice itself, I feel like it's just completely unnecessary. All right, I'm going off on a whole nother diatribe. So let's get home, see where I'm at on these. We're back. Thanks so much for going on a hunt with me. Little bit of a random all over the place hunt. Sadly, I'm still looking for that Splinter Baxter Stockman 2 pack. I've been seeing them graciously packing shelves in all these uh, Ninja Turtles and NECA groups on Facebook. So hopefully they're just taking their time. I know that the Triceraton 2-pack that I found at Target came out about a month, month and a half after everyone else was getting them, so hoping they're just taking their time getting here. But, let's see what I did get. Uh, first, I want to show you this weird pop that I got randomly from Walgreens. I had seen this before, but I couldn't pass this one up for the low price of $2 and some change. And, if you know me, I love anything that glows in the dark. And, uh, big Captain America and the uh, Doctor Strange fan. So it's kind of cool to see them mashed up together. I have not read this Infinity Warps comic. I have uh, Comicsology Unlimited that I got a couple months back, so I'm trying to make my way through some of the turtles. I'm currently on the Comicsology app reading the Absolute Carnage Spider-Man uh, series. It's really good. I just didn't know a lot about that figure that I ended up getting the alternate head for, so I was like, ah, maybe this is something I should check out. I think Comixology, I, I, the, the Marvel Unlimited is also a really good deal. So if you want to just read Marvel, Marvel Comics, go with that one. But if you want to kind of dip in here and there, which I'm more interested in right now, I've got the Comics on, Comixology Unlimited app. But yeah, so I'm hoping this one is on there. I'm going to have to check tonight. I love this pop. I might even do a little review because the pop reviews are real quick on this channel. I love that he glows in the dark. That'll be so much fun. And uh, I mean, come on, look at that action pose. Like three bucks with tax, great deal. Okay, while we're talking wheel, while we're talking deals, let's go ahead and uh, show you. I got one more of the Ghostbuster Plasma series that I've been looking for, and it's a big one. I got uh, the main man himself, Peter Vickman. I am pretty sure that these were the ones that were most in the way. Like whenever like the stores would get a pack of these, I think they got more Peter Vickman than anyone else because you'd always see more of these on the shelf and. He's kind of like the Tony Stark of the Ghostbusters, so if he's on the shelf, it's because they gave you a lot of extra ones. But yeah, he comes with, a, you can see past the price tag here, he comes with the Ghost Trap, which is really cool. And uh, I got another leg, so I'm going to have to see where I am on the Build-A-Figure. I think I've just more or less got now the torso and the two front legs. So, yeah, I'm going to have to try to track some of these down. I did, um, when I was re-editing videos, I noticed that... All of my targets still had all the figures, so I'm gonna have to buy my time and once Target puts them on sale, figure it'll be around the same price point. I'm gonna have to jump on those and get, you know, some of these other ones. Gozer, you know, some of these other ones, you know, Gozer, Egon, Winston, the three that I need. So I'm halfway there, so I'm pretty excited about that. Last and certainly not least, oh, red bag, you know what that means. All right, I ended up getting two of the Into the Spider-Verse figures, and I'm very pleased with how these turned out, especially Peter B. Parker, which I adore this character in the movie. I think this is the best Spider-Man movie, in my opinion, and I love all the... I, by and large, I like all the Spider-Man movies, but man, Into the Spider-Verse is one of the best, I'd say, superhero movies, period. Definitely the best Spider-Man movie. Uh, like I said, I last... I love having the torso to stilt man so that I can plug the head in. I have all these pieces rolling around all over the place. And uh, man, Spider-Ham and Gwen look amazing. I really wanted, as you saw in the video, I was torn about Miles. But like there was something about his eye. The white on the eye had some like little bit of a thing on it. Didn't look like something I could just get off of there real easily. So I'm just going to wait on Miles. Did have all these pre-ordered, so I did go ahead and cancel these two, and uh, they actually were priced a little bit more because I had to pay a little bit extra on Amazon, just a couple dollars. But hey, I did save a couple bucks today, so that was pretty good. 
Um, but I am very excited to shoot these, so much like Jar Jar Binks, I don't know if I will be able to make these to review or not, but I am going to try very hard to review these before I start taking them out and taking pictures of them. Thanks so much for coming on this hunt with me. I'm very excited for new toys, new year. Um, hold on. Oh. But I really appreciate you stopping by. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. I really am I'm getting pretty close to 300. I may even be at 300 at this point. Uh, very exciting, and I, I, I can't thank you all so much. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Hopefully I'll be coming at you with a review here in a couple of days. I hope whatever you're looking for, you find on your next hunt. Your support means the world to me, so thanks so much, guys. I'll see you real soon.